Hey everybody, Sharon here from GameReact.com. Here we are today back in the Castlevania DLC for Dead by Daylight going for the Adept Dark Lord achievement. This is to get a Merciless Killer rating as the DLC's killer in the form of the Dark Lord, aka Dracula, only using his three unique perks. This one's going to be done from the killer side. You obviously need to grab the Dark Lord from the DLC pack or from the in-game store. These are going to be the perks that you want to run and only run. You want to do Dominance, Wretched Fate, which is going to be a Hex perk, and then finally you're going to want Human Greed. Leave the fourth slot empty if you have that available to you, and you can do whatever you want for add-ons or offerings. So once the loadout is together, make sure you get into the game. We're going to start by covering Dracula's main gimmick, which is going to be his three unique forms. You hold left bumper to shapeshift. You're going to choose between either wolf form with right trigger or bat form with left trigger. Starting out with bat form, which is going to be a good one to start a game out with. Basically, you're going to be undetectable and you're going to zip around the map super fast. You can also fly over vaulting spots and down pallets. You also get a handy dandy teleport to any one of them at any point. So you have that to look forward to. The big thing is, even though you do not give off a terror radius because of undetectable, you aren't able to see where the survivors are going to be. So make sure you do keep those things in mind. Now, unfortunately, you aren't going to be able to attack while in bat form. However, the other alternate form can attack. This one is going to be the wolf form. This is going to be the way that this works. This form is going to control in third person. You're going to have these things sprinkled around the map called scent orbs. The way that these are going to work is they're going to show you where the survivors have been recently, and they should help point out the direction on where they're going. Picking these up is going to give you the haste status condition, which is going to speed you up significantly. For your attack, you're going to have access to a pounce. It's going to be a forward firing attack that you need to charge up. So make sure you charge that thing up and then it's going to launch you forward. There's going to be two phases to it. So if you happen to miss the first one, you can further the pounce by using the second one. So make sure you try to get into a chase and then use the pounce to close the distance and you can punish the survivor if they are standing in front of you in a straight line. But of course, most of the time you're going to be in your default form, which is going to be your vampire form. So in addition to your normal Dead by Daylight physical attack, you're going to have your alternative fire, which is going to be Hellfire. You're going to hold left trigger to charge it up, and then you're going to spit it out with right trigger. It's going to be a forward firing attack that shoots this wall of fire directly in front of you in a straight line. This thing is able to pass over low hanging obstacles, so it's going to go over vaulting spots and down pallets. So very useful anti-looping tool. It also has a really fast windup as well as cooldown, which is going to make it a really good general ranged attack. So if you happen to be chasing a survivor and they're going to be in a straight line ahead of you, just make sure you use this thing to close the distance and you should get some super duper easy hits in like this. Now, as for the perk loadouts, they're mostly going to be super useful. However, you are going to mostly take advantage of them while they're in the background. First one up is going to be Dominance. This is going to lock any chests or totems that are interacted with for the first time by the survivors in the game. They're going to be locked for a few seconds. This one is going to help buy you a little extra time, which of course is always useful. Second one up is going to be Wretched Fate. This is going to be a hex perk that's going to kick in every time a generator is completed. It's going to put a hex on one of the dull totems on the map. And for each of these, you're going to have the survivors have their repair speed slowed down significantly. They are able to see the Hex Totem whenever they are within a reasonable range of it. However, that is going to be good for you as that's going to take time away from them on the generators. So very useful time killing perk as well. As for the last one, this one is basically going to reveal to you the aura of all of the chests on the map. It also reveals the aura of any survivors who are around these chests, so make sure you do take advantage of this. This is going to be your survivor detecting perk. Also, also, it allows you to close chests, which can be kind of useful. However, that's more eating into your time rather than survivor time, so I recommend just ignoring that as it doesn't help you too much. So Dracula is going to be a pretty versatile killer, so make sure you play in a way that suits your fancy, and hopefully it doesn't take you too long to figure out something that's comfortable for you. But nonetheless, once you do finally manage a game where you do get that quad sacrifice or quad kill, you should be good for the Merciless Killer rating once you get to the results screen, and then you should be good for the achievement that goes along with it, assuming that you use this build. There it is, it's going to be for a 20 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.